Hello, in this video I will show you how to run Windows VST plugins on Linux. We'll use Yabridge yeah, and Wine Staging. That will be the tool that will kind of translate the VST2 and VST3 plugins. And we'll, as a DAW, we'll use Ardor 6 that now supports multi-channel plugins. First, let's install Wine, which is required by Yabridge. And then we will install Yabridge and Yabridge CTL. So, Pacman, here I'm using Manjaro Linux. You can check the GitHub of Yabridge project and see how the best way to install your packages within your distribution. So here is Pacman install that. Okay, Pacman install on staging. Okay, I already have the packages, so it install quickly. And now, yeah, bridge and your bridge CTL. Okay. Now we can check if Yabridge yeah, was properly installed and working with Wine. So we can type Yabridge yeah, host.exe and we got these readings, this output. That means it was properly installed. We can see if the 32 bit it's okay and okay um here i have the main directory where my plugins are located i have this vst2 plugin from slate digital that is a drum sampler i got some from analog obsession that are vst3 plugins then i will point Yabridge yeah, to, to this directory and Yabridge yeah, will kind of convert the VST2 plugins in .so file and then we'll kind of convert the VST3 plugins into another .so file in another directory that we'll discuss later. So, bridge ctl add I just added this whole uh, uh, directory and let's sync and yeah, bridge will start to convert the files. I got this warning about uh, another wine prefix being used. Um, doesn't matter. We have uh, 64 plugins and Let's check, we can check if everything is fine with status, average CTL status. And as you can see, SD2 plugins were copied and also SD3 plugins. Now, late digital sampler has this .so in its directory. And now we can close the terminal and open our door six. Let us get an empty template and do a test session. Okay. For the sake of the video, we will be using Pulse Audio and not also. Okay.
So let's scan for new plugins. Go edit preferences. BST. Let's clean up the caches and the ignore list. That main directory will be the VST2 plugins directory. Okay. And the VST3 plugins will be your home folder.vst3. Okay, now we can scan for new plugins. This will take a while, so I'll be back later. So, uh, I got some errors on some plugins, but will we check it out later? Let us see if we can search for new plugins. Let's add a MIDI track. Now we have a SSD sampler 5 on the plugins list. Let's add it. Automatic. Okay. Okay, I think everything is working. Okay, let's add some other plugins like um, Rare from Analog Obsession. If... Let's add a limiter. This is a limiter from X42 plugins on Linux. That's it. Thank you for watching.